The Middle Ages is when chemistry really started to grow into what it is today. Many practices invented in that era are still in use, like the production of gunpowder, the use of perfume, and even the recipe for chocolate sauce. Chemistry began here as alchemy, an investigation of the stuff in nature. Alchemists worked on all kinds of things like medicine, mining, and cooking, and made many of their discoveries by accident. In the 9th century, Chinese herbal alchemists were just trying to add herbs to the medicines they already had, saltpeter and sulfur. When they put these three ingredients together, they accidentally created an explosion so big, it changed the way wars were fought forever. In the 4th century, Mary the Jewess created a water bath apparatus so that she could heat solids evenly and gently without burning them. Her idea is now mainly used to melt chocolate and make caramel. In the 10th century, alchemists in the Middle East learned to distill wine and get pure alcohol. This could easily dissolve herbal oils, so Cairo and Istanbul became the center of the world perfume trade. One famous alchemist who lived in the year 800 was Jabir ibn Hayyan, who followed the teachings of Aristotle. He was one of the first to propose that elements could change from one to another. He proposed that cheap elements like lead could be made into gold, and although he tried to keep it secret, alchemists tried for the next few hundred years to find a magic stone that could do this. During his life, he wrote in his own special code that he shared with only a few people, but it was so dense and hard to read that a new word was created for it. Gibberish. Some swindlers claimed to have found Jabir's famous sorcerer's stone. Others claimed to sell an elixir of life that granted eternal youth, giving a bad name to alchemists. They would use magnets and produce green flames with boric acid to prove that they were some kind of magical witch or wizard. They became something to be feared and destroyed, and in 1404, England banned all study of alchemy. This helped to protect against swindlers, but science and technology advancement was frozen in England for the next 250 years. How would you experiment with plants, fire, and food? How would you make sure you were still learning about science, even though chemistry was illegal? Think about it.